What is going on beautiful people? I am Lee Hammett, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as mental illness and welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about a few different ways that narcissistic people can tell you the truth. There's like insidious ways. So stay tuned, like and subscribe for more. So a lot of narcissists and toxic people will tell you the truth and cover it as a joke. And if you're new here, I'm a narcissist. I actually have narcissistic personality disorder. So when you're first getting to know a narcissist or you've been in a long-term relationship with one, they will tell you the truth in subtle ways. I always say that if you listen to a narcissist, they'll tell you exactly what they're doing. Sometimes we can't help but confess. It's like a sinister need to confess to you what we're doing, but not have you figure it out. <laughs> well, like, it'd be crazy if I had like two girlfriends, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'm just joking. Stop. Calm down. I'm just joking. They will confess in those jokes and things like that. Other ways that they will confess and tell you the truth of what they're doing is by saying other people did it. They'll tell you some long, elaborate story about a coworker that's cheating on their significant other and the whole time it's them. You just have to listen to them. Listen to them talk and I promise you they will confess what they're doing. The most common way of them confessing is accusing you of things. Like out of the blue. Hey, you're cheating on me. I know it. Whole time, it's them clapping cheeks behind your back. Stay safe. So welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, y'all. So narcissistic people, toxic people will tell you the truth in weird, strange ways. They just like, it's kind of crazy how it works, y'all. It, it's like, a, you know, I'm a diagnosed narcissist. It's like a burning feeling inside of you. It's not a spirit. I love, I'm going to go ahead and get the Jezebel spirit people out of here. If you think it's a Jezebel spirit, kindly exit stage right. You know what I mean? People just, the Lee, <laughs> we, we, Lee, we're waiting on you to say. We were waiting on you to say that you felt like a burning spirit inside of you. That's the Jezebel spirit. You're an evil, demon-possessed bastard. You really have it. Yes, you are. <laughs> but no, it just it feels, you know, it's just the, the narcissists that people want to tell them themselves a lot of times. They want to tell you the truth, but they know if they tell you the truth, their life will blow up. Their life dynamic, what it, their, your relationship dynamic, whatever it will, whatever it is, will change. Whatever relationship dynamic you have with this narcissist or this toxic person, it would change up because of the because of what's going on. It just absolutely would. I think a lot of people don't. It wouldn't change, Lee. It would absolutely change up if they told you the truth about what they were doing. So they have to find kind of different ways to tell you the truth. Which was why I tell a lot of people like they're going to find a way to tell you the truth. And they're like, you see in my uh, in my my previous video, the little short video. They'll cover it with a joke. That's one way that they'll do it. They'll tell you the truth and cover it like it's a joke. Like, ha, ha, ha. What, you know what? Hypothetically speaking, like, I'm going to tell you a funny joke right here. <laughs> It'd be crazy if I was cheating on you with your sister, wouldn't it? <laughs> 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 It'd be, it, it would be, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not doing it, but it would just be funny, wouldn't it? That would not be funny at all. You see how that works right there? It would not be funny, but they're covered with a joke. I'm not sleeping with your sister the whole time. They actually are. Just listen. I tell you, I, I, I'm telling you, I say this all the time. I feel like a broken record, y'all. Just like, if you listen to a narcissist closely enough, if you decipher the words that they're saying, a lot of times they're, they'll confess on you and telling you what they're going to do, what they're doing to you. That's one way that they will tell on themselves is by just literally covering up with a joke. They will just definitely make a funny, unfunny joke or sarcastic joke or create a hypothetical situation where they're doing something heinous to you and getting away with it. But they feel like they told you. Once they say it like that, once a narcissist tells you in that way, just like if they can tell you and cover it with a joke, they feel like they told you. That's them tell that's them confessing to you. As it is, yes, it's a joke, quote unquote, but that is them in their minds confessing to you about the things and how they work. It just absolutely is. So if you're dealing with narcissists and toxic people, just listen, y'all. Listen. Listen. Everything is not sarcasm. Listen to them. They're telling on themselves all the time. They just get, get like, I'm telling you, it's like we can't hold it in. We can't control our mouths. It just comes out. It's like, it literally just comes out sometimes. And we can't control it. It just comes out. When it, when it, once it's out, it's out. Y'all know that. I know it. Once it's out of my mouth, it's out of my mouth. I cannot control it. That's one way like, they'll cover it with a joke. Another way that they'll do it, I know I said this before, y'all, is they will literally, literally, literally say somebody, they'll tell you this crazy story that somebody else is doing. Their friend from work, their brother, their sister, their mom, their dad, their best friend, their, their childhood their childhood friend, whoever it is, they'll tell you 
they'll put that other person in what they're doing. They'll just tell you this heinous story like, look, my coworker is out of out of his mind. Yes, I'm talking about like I'm putting myself in these situations, y'all. Like, look, my coworker is literally out of his mind. Like, it, he's literally cheating with like cheating on his. He got a good girl at home. He's literally cheating with four girls at the plant right now, and the four girls don't really know about each other. And the, the girl at home doesn't know either. So it's kind of crazy how it's working out right now. Like nobody really knows what this person has going on. But like he's getting away with it. And I told him, I told him, look, you know I'm a good person, babe. I told him, you got something good at home. Leave these, leave these other girls alone. Leave them alone. You can have a good girl at home. I would wife your girl up if you wouldn't. If you don't want her, I'll take her. I had to tell him that type of stuff. And but you know, I'm a good person. They they're not. They're just confessing. They they just confess to what they're doing to you, just in a different way. I'm just telling you, you got, you you have to listen, y'all. Y'all have to listen to the words that are coming out of their mouth. They they are telling themselves constantly consistently it just doesn't, it doesn't feel like it but trust your intuition dig a little deeper y'all if they tell you some crazy if, if a story comes out of nowhere or it sound if it sounds too good to be true y'all just think about it think about this tell, tell yourself it's too good to be true because narcissism types of people they, the way they, the way our minds work it might be it might very well be too good to be true you know what i mean this story right there this this weird story where they are the, the they play the hero in it like does that seem like them you know, ask yourself, does this seem like your person, your partner, your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, whoever, does it feel like they would play the hero in that story and tell their person to not cheat on them? Especially if y'all have a history of cheating. You know I mean? They'll tell you somebody else did. They'll make you create fantastical stories that somebody else did and they played the hero and stopped it from happening. Like they just stopped, they like, so apparently they're damn near Spider Man. They stopped moving buses from coming. Like my friend, the bus driver was clapping some cheeks in the back seat, and I got in front of the, I just hopped on the bus, and I stopped the bus from crashing. I'm a hero. Listen to what they're saying, y'all. Listen to what they're saying. You can tell if it's true or not. Like I said, in another way, the narcissist will tell them themselves. Like I said, y'all, just like they will project it onto you. They will accuse you out of nowhere. If you so if you start getting out these unnecessary out of nowhere accusations about like you let's say you a homebody you don't even go outside you got you got agora you agoraphobic you don't even leave the damn house they'll accuse you of cheating on them are you cheating on me i know you want to i know you i know you're agoraphobic i know you i know this but you weren't on the couch when i came home you were in the bedroom you're normally on the couch so i'm assuming that you have from the, from the time you got on the couch to the time you got into the bedroom that somebody clapped your cheeks am i right why are you cheating on me if it's coming out of nowhere, y'all, is there a lot of times is a narcissistic person, toxic person, guilty conscious, bubbling to the surface, and they're confessing to you through project, through accusing you, their accusations and their projections are what are, are actually them. You know what I mean? It's actually them doing something right there. So if you deal with narcissists and toxic people, understand that there's different ways they want to tell you the truth. They absolutely do. You have to be the one to decipher it and break it down and things like that. Just listen. I'm just telling y'all. Just listen to them. Listen. Listen. They were telling themselves all the time they want to confess to you. They'll confess to you at the beginning of relationships. They'll confess to you in the middle. They'll confess to you at the end. You have to be the one to listen to it and decipher it and things like that. But anyways, y'all, let me cut this thing short. I really, truly appreciate every single one of y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in to another episode. Like and subscribe for more. And as always, mental illness is out. Peace.